Wedding Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigan Sync, and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Handsome Man Must Die Chapter 1. So before we get into this, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored and not, we ain't sponsored by Shueisha and not, we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> But if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, oh my god, I'm really excited to cover this one because um, we're getting another um, gag series. I love gag series a lot. And so far... Um, the new gag series that we've gotten that I've been covering have been really good. I love Service Wars especially. Service Wars is everything, so I'm hoping this one is going to be good too. Um, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. And Otaku infiltrates the world of handsome idols, a frantic, uh, wacky comedy. Ooh, okay. My idol is uh, too handsome, hot. I love him 2,000%. All right, Asima, let's see what we got here. The school's gorgeous princess gracefully returns home. Oh my god, you're Asima, you're so cool. <laughs> my noisy little birdies. So noble and prince-like. Good thing I chose an all-girls high school. Um, I'm Yuri uh, Rigami. Oddly, I seem to be quite popular with the girls at school, and they often like uh, liken me to a prince. However, in reality, <laughs> I'm a diehard otaku who's completely obsessed with idols. Oh, I <laughs> oh God. My absolute favorite is Ryo um, Kirikirisu from the idol group Handsome Guys. Oh my god, that... <laughs> This is already stupid, I live. His irresistible charm and charisma have made him one of the most popular idols out there. Oh my god, Kirikisu Kani is so cool! I like Ryokan the idol a lot, I admire him! I just want to be like Ryokan! Dude, she looks a lot like him, so... Oh my god, from his catchphrases to his hairstyle, down to even his eyebrows! Oh, just like this, please. Um, how would you, wait, how would you like it? Just like this, please. Me, my noisy little birdies. Oh my god, she got the post out too. His songs and dances too. I learned them all perfectly. Dude. After that, I started to get popular with the girls at school. Well, duh, you look like an idol. You're like the female version of, of the, an idol. So... Yeah, it makes sense. After all, I'm imitating uh, Ryokan, who is amazingly cool. Oh boy, he... it's today. Ryokan's um, idol group, Handsome Guys, will be performing live. I just put on these stylish glasses before the show, and voila, my sync ratio with Ryo has reached 2,000%, pumped up and ready to go. I know mofos are going to say that, um, that she's trans. No, she's not trans. She's not. She's just an idol of Taku. Stop it. Stop it to those people who are going to say this bitch is trans. She's not. She's just like Yamato. She's an otaku. Just like Yamato is an Odin otaku. Tweet, tweet. Oh, my nosy little birdies. Just how many of uh, you are there today? Dude, he's fit. The thing I will like, I like about this, though... Is that um, that the, uh, that um, we have androgyny going on here? I like that Asima is giving us very much androgynous realness. Because the thing is, and I love when manga gives us androgynous characters anyway. Um, because something that's been going on for those of you that don't know is there's been like a major war on androgyny and gender non-conforming and gender non-conformity there we go it, it's been so frustrating i can't stand these freaking people that are attacking it so when i see series like this it just it makes me happy because the series is promoting androgyny i love it i love it because androgyny is great in my opinion 50, uh, 55 
thousand birdies. The capacity of Tokyo Dome is 55,000 people. Oh, damn. All 55,000 of you, thank you for coming today. The next song will be the last one tonight. I hope uh, you all enjoy it. Oh, he has a bird? That's awesome. My debut song, The Wings of a Boy. Oh. <laughs> the Wings of a Boy Who Killed Puberty. No! Those wings look great, though. Oh, my God. Asuma, I will give you this. Those wings look freaking fantastic. The detailing in these feathers look great. Because... I have to point this out. I have seen some shitty looking wings lately, especially in terms of feather texture. They have looked like crap. This looks really nice. Could it use a little bit more line work in some of the feathers? Yeah, just a little bit more, but for the most part, these look nice and the joints look really good too. Considering they're supposed to be fake wings, they look nice. Ooh. And the movement looks good too. It's not stiff. It's actually pretty fluid. Oh my god! Kill! A oh, kill! Kill! Wait, kill! 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 Oh my god. Oh, it's, it's... Kill! 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 That is so fucking weird. Huh? Oh my god, these outfits are everything. Dude, these are idol outfits? Are the 80s back all of a sudden? What the hell is this? This is shit that you would see in the 80s. I live. I love this. Or hell, this is stuff you'd see like at a... Oh my god. Oh, they're not mesh though. I was gonna be like, this is shit you would see like at a gay club. <laughs> I like this. Um, the way I will slide up the stage with a perfect mix of coolness and, um, and sexiness. Dude, I agree. There's nothing that even compares. Oh, gee, there really isn't. Well, yeah, wow. Wow, today's show was so amazing. It was all perfect. Like, when he became an angel, I got chills. Good for I know I need to get back on um, uh, the other Angel Idol series um, that I'm covering, uh, Stand for Salvation. I know I'm so behind on that. I know. I'm, this week, I will be back on top of it. Uh, could Ryo can really be an angel? Maybe. The dance was amazing too. I picked it up right away. I'll practice before I forget it. Even if these wings are torn apart. Ooh, this feeling is genuine. Ooh, she's got down good. This movement is actually really good. There, over there. What the fuck? All right, we got, uh, we got Rio, huh? Kill him. What? The fuck? That song was... Ooh. I know songs are um, are sometimes uh, based on uh, uh, the singer's real life sometimes, but geez, geez this is ridiculous. What? what? No, stop! Ooh! Damn, Rio! Are you okay? You, you are... Ryokan right in front of me, so close. Uh, you, oh, oh my god, oh wow. You, you kind of look like me. That explains the mix up. Um, I'm sorry, it's my fault you had to go through such a frightening ordeal. No, um, no, it's not your fault. With you, I, I entrust all of me. Uh, oh, what does that mean? Hmm. Polar Polaroid pictures? What year is this? This thing, is this, okay, I have to ask, is this in the 90s because, or, yeah, this got to, this can't, or the 2000s or something, because no freaking way does anyone use Polaroids anymore. No way. No way. God, I turned 34, oh wait, 34 at the end of this month. And I remember the days of Polaroid. God damn it, I feel so old. Am I the only- I need to know if you guys remember Polaroid pictures. Oh god, it just makes me think of Outcast as well. Ryu, um, Akira Yurisu, you are dead. You can never escape, ever. Blah. Huh? You, stay away from me. What? Run away from here. Go home. Hurry. Don't call the police. But just one more thing. 
Thank you for coming to see me today, lovely little birdie Chan. Are you kind? <gasps> Whoa, what the fuck? His head just blew off. Ooh, that decap- I will say this, that decapitation looks- Actually, it looks pretty good. I kind of- Okay, here's the thing that's bugging me, though. I wish the- f it's, it's just too clean. I wish the full- You're doing decapitation, but I wish the full head was, like, destroyed, too. I know I'm expecting too much because I've been spoiled by Chichika no Rokinin, but, dude, I, I really wish the full thing was blown apart. <laughs> this is lame. Front of studio, um, Alta, uh, Shinjuku, look for Rainbow Apple Dragon Mahjong. What? Are they telling me to go there? I can't figure out that last part, but no matter what, I must go. What the fuck is going on? The next day, in front of studio, um, Alta, Shinjuku, in front of Alta, is this the right place? Uh, Rainbow Apple Dragon Mahjong. Dude, what the fuck is that? Excuse me, are you Mr. Rainbow Apple Dragon Mahjong? You bet I am. You came here to find out what happened to Rio, right? Um... <gasps> Hello? Husbando? Oh my god! Oh my geez, so cool! No way! Or the member who left handsome guys, uh, Nijibayashi Ryuga... Dude, this is Husbando? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is his Bondo. For those of you that have followed me long enough, you know I am a sucker for blondes. Oh my god, this is his Bondo right here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He's just striking features. Is he real? Is he real? I need to know. I used to be a handsome guy, but I threw that all away. Um, he's still super cool. He is. He's fucking hot. Being handsome as hell. Let me tell you about the dark side of handsome guys. Being handsome as hell? Well, oh. Well, having women chase you all the time, uh, I can understand. Yeah, kitty, I can understand. Yeah, he had to run. Uh, he has to run from all the fuckery. What? What? Um. You know about the handsome guys, uh, the handsome chopper, right? The emblem of the group. Of course, I, I uh, bought the fan one. The Joker is actually- What? The Joker is actually a lethal bomb collar that keeps idols under control. Whoa, what? That's why Rio's neck. All handsome guys are controlled that way, and if you rebel, boom. No way, why would they do such a thing? The agency head is a ruthless man who's not afraid to kill to get, a, uh, to get ahead. Oh my god, that is so punny. A choker is given to every new member when they debut, totally unaware of what it really is. By doing so, they can control, uh, they, uh, can control idols, um, affair, love, um, drugs, fights, and more, and avoid uh, the chance of any love affair scandals um, or issues whatsoever. That's the boss's intention. That's actually pretty... Dude, that boss is actually pretty smart. But, dude, I wouldn't do that shit. That's too extreme. Like, maybe a shock, but... Decapitation? That's going too far. Especially in the case of drugs, that's where the shot comes through. With that control, uh, the idols have no choice but to live a life without emotions. Oh, that sucks. Again, as I said, the drugs is one thing, but the love and the affairs, yeah, that's another. They can't love or laugh or even cry, and all of that uh, they're left with um, is a life lifeless handsome face. Every member of Handsome Boys is sexy with a grief-filled um, expression being being their charm. They are melancholic. They are melancholic because their lives are in danger. Yep, Kitty, what are you doing? Stop that! I wasn't aware of anything. Ever since our training school days, wait, I wasn't aware of anything. Ever since our training school days, Rio and I were close. Aww, best friends forever. They were bros. Dude, I love this background too. We were trying to stop the system and we finally found a way to do it. How? The control device for the chokers can be found on the top floor of the handsome guy's headquarters, the 54th floor. There you'll find a 
uh, giant 50 meter tall handsome David statue. Dude, that David statue is actually pretty hot. I've seen that in the magazine before. Isn't it like really big? The David statue is actually a What? The David statue is actually um, a colossal computer which functions as a mechanism to control all the idols. It is? Dude, this and Sam for Salvation are just fucking amazing. If we destroy David, then everything will come to an end. The handsome David statue. That's where rookie idols get their debut performance, right? Ooh. Yeah, that's right. I heard they often hold um, extravagant idol debut par parties there, too. Uh, that's correct. We were trying to infiltrate a party. Um, that's when we got caught by that boss. Without Rio, there's no way we can do it now. There's just no way. Ryuko-san, how can I help? Is there anything I can do? You, now that Rio's gone, um, what can we even do? There might be one thing, and that is reaching the very top of the Young Handsome Academy. Uh, ooh, isn't that the exclusive training school where the most popular handsome guys' trainings go? If we somehow manage to debut, we can get close to David, then we can blow it up. Ooh, that's actually a smart idea. I see. So that's the plan. I'll do it. I'll enter the academy. What? Um, I've been a huge fan of Ryokan and really looked up to him. I longed to be just like him and was always following whatever he did. The same goes for Ryokan's wish. I'll do whatever I can and make it sure it comes true. Thank you, but aren't you a girl? I'm a girl, but there are tons of cute and handsome boys, uh, idols who look like girls. Don't you think I can do that? See, this is why androgyny is awesome. It's the same thing with the um, see. It's the same thing with the uh, uh, fanboys. Fanboys can get away with this. Fanboys or tomboys, they can infiltrate. Wah! That's why they're traps. Well, I guess that is kind of the case with idols. But wait a minute, this could actually work. See? Whoa! Good morning, cute. Good morning. They're a trap. This girl even, she even looks like Rio. The potential she hold is, uh, holds is limitless. But this school is inhumane. To be honest, it's a dangerous place. Uh, I won't force you, but I would die for Ryokan. Die! I'm not attached to this world anymore now that Ryokan is gone, so I'll risk my life for his wish. What an extreme fan! With this int intense vision and radiance, she just, um, she's just like Rio. Rio is dead, but I wonder, has his soul been inherited? Again, she is, I'm stressing this because you know mofos will say it at some point if normies get a hold of this, well especially if certain people get a hold of this, they are going to say she is trans because this is very much a Yamato situation. No, she is just a real otaku carrying on his will, just like Yamato with Odin. Thank you. Let's fight together for Frio and all of the other handsome guys. Let's prepare for the audition right away. We've got to, uh, got to get the uniform and supplies ready, too. From now on, uh, your Ryo Kirigis uh, Kirigisu aim to become ha just as handsome as him. I will. Dude, this manga is going to be amazing. I love, because usually with these kind of series, um, because these are because these are gender bender series. Uh, usually, it is a boy infiltrating a, um, a girl's school, but this is the reverse, and I love it. I love that we're getting this. This is great. I'm very stoked for this. I really am, <laughs> and I'm I'm really excited to see where this goes. I really am. And it's very, and again, it's very interesting to see this kind of series happen or come out when we have a series like Stand for Salvation out as well. And again, I will catch up with Stand for Salvation this week. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more handsome must die content. The ways you could do that donate to our cash at PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, run us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.